Hello everyone, Michael Vosbon again with Boss for Symbols, this time from the lobby of our hotel in Istanbul, where it's been my pleasure to spend a week with Jamie Haddad. We've been hanging just a little bit. Just a little bit working on some cool new stuff. Jamie, tell us about your process of discovery as a drummer, as a percussionist, looking for new sounds or, or new ways of expression. Well, you know, I early on you know, we all imagine ourselves being the heir apparent to Elvin Jones and Roy Haynes, Jack DeJanette, you know, they're our heroes, you know, amongst others, our Blakey, our Taylor, Paul Motion, you know, there's a litany of saints that we, we love and admired and try to mimic as we grow up, but as we, you know, evolve through the different layers of life, we kind of realize that you know, our voices, as much as we love them, those times are gone. We could recreate them because we love them and we want to be a good student of them. But uh, in the end, you're going to have to find your voice that really works for you. And even though the same cymbal might not sound, or a drum set might not, or any percussion instrument will sound the same in anyone's hands, as you get deeper into it, you, I think you, you find that you want a sound that really accommodates the music you're starting to develop and the language you're developing with your your peers or your, your crowd of musicians. So you know, we break it down in schools and we do all that kind, of, that kind of thing. There's a value to that, but at the end of the day, there's so much contextual learning that happens between individuals that uh, if you don't play all the time, you're not going to really start to develop your voice. It's a joke. I'm kidding yourself. So we went to uh, the foundry where the guys made Bosphorus Simples. It's a different culture. Uh, they don't speak English, uh, except for one who translates. And, and everybody brought what they had to the table. We all listened, we all cooperated. What were your impressions of, of that experience? Well, first of all, I mean, it's a, it's a rough, rough environment to make symbols. I mean, when you come from you know, a Western foundry, factory environment, this is something else. Then at the same point, it's the something else that allows those symbols to be to be born and beat into a life of sound and color that just other people can't either afford to do or don't take the time to do. And um, and I know people who really create symbols all over the world and you know, when I look at that kind of thing. And I you know I played them all, but uh, I'm I'm just grateful to have people that really have years, incredible years. When you talk about it, you know, they look at you, you know, they, you talk about sound, you talk about the throat opening up, you talk about the stick, you know, without even an interpreter, you know. Mm -hmm. exactly. they've, been, they've been at it so long, they look at you, they leave the room for five minutes. I follow them in anyways, they can't get too far away, <laughs> I want to see what they're doing. And, you know, they, they know what hammer to use, they... You know, where to hammer, how where, much to, how much, how... You want to open it up, you want to close it up, you yeah. want to bring the pitch up or down. Or if you really want you know, some larger dimples in it, uh, you know, a, whole, they, a whole lot about it, or and relay it, then refire it, or all sorts of things mm -hmm. that can happen. You know, and I frankly, I can, you know, I can lose. I better better understand the process of the layering of, of techniques, but um, it's a it's a you know it's a master's work. It's, it's not for the uninitiated, that's for sure. Right. Something about the organic aspect of materials or whatever that really talks to the organic nature of you know, our whole being. Well, it's been a stone groove hanging with you this week and working on some new things. We'll have some cool new stuff. A little bit, a little bit of noise. We'll have some cool new stuff coming out soon. Let's go take a ride on the Bosphorus. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> Thank you. Cool, brother.